a hidden sonata. Will our bodies change immediately once the vapor canopy happens, or does it take place slowly over time? Okay, I don't know. I don't want to sit here and invent things for you just because I introduced this concept from the ancient world about the vapor canopy. I do know this. I do know that in 1902, vapor canopy conditions were replicated when the Phoenix phenomenon occurred and induced vo a volcanic explosion in the Caribbean at Martinique, where 30,000 occupants of the uh, city of Martinique on St. Pierre were incinerated when a mountain blew up, a volcano. But the energy released from that volcano was ambient radiation. Ambient radiation soon had real odd things going on in Martinique. Animals and plants were growing to astonishing sizes. Scientists went and studied the phenomenon, studied everything that was going on after the volcano in 1902. In the year 19, from 1902 to 1903, two scientists documented that they grew two inches taller. One man was in his 50s. The other was in his 60s. Just can't make this stuff up. That was, that was, a vapor, that was vapor canopy conditions. Under the vapor canopy, volcanism is real, but the ambient radiation is being trapped under the vapor canopy, and it's diffusing, and it's causing plants and animals to grow to astonishing sizes. And it's coupled with the fact that the oxygen content is much richer under a vapor canopy. Plus, ambient radiation is being filtered in through the canopy itself. The UV, harmful UV radiation, does not affect anything. It doesn't even make it through the canopy. It only takes a few feet of water to completely, to completely filter out and reflect away ra a harmful radiation. But when you have a mesosphere like the vapor canopy that is oh, miles thick, no, no harmful radiation from above can filter below. So under in vapor canopy conditions, Trees grew to the size of high-rise buildings today. Animals were gigantic. People grew to, to great sizes. Open cuts healed in minutes. Deep wounds healed in hours. People knew which plants to staunch wounds. They knew how to make immediate medicines. They knew how to do all this stuff. Under the vapor canopy world, under the vapor canopy world, dying was a big deal. Because it wasn't easy to do. Murder, like the story of Cain and Abel, murder had even more significance attached to it. Because in order to kill somebody in the vapor canopy, it wasn't a crime of passion. It was deliberately premeditated with malice and, and animus. Because to kill somebody, you really had to go through the motions. Really had to go through the motions. Today, humans are fragile. And it's really easy to end somebody's life quickly. You can get away with crime of passion or uh, emotional or, or psychological instability and all that, but not in those days. In those days, Cain was cursed and his family was cursed. He was given a deliberate mark that this man's a murderer. Yeah, but it's and now and the Cain and Abel story may not be true at all. It's but it's a it's a great antidote of the times of the traditions of the times. It's probably attached to a real event. We don't we really don't know. But when Phoenix does what it's gonna do, that's why we understand the return of the vapor canopy. Remember, as in the days of Noah. So as in the days of Noah, all Noah ever knew was a vapor canopy. According to the scriptural narrative for the first six hundred years of his life. Do I believe he was six hundred years old? No. I believe that the ancient Achaean version, where they called him Neruus, is more closer to the truth. They called him Neruus because he was either born or he died at one of those great ancient Near Eastern epics called the Nur, which was the Anunnaki Nur chronology, which I've written and posted a lot about. The 600-year great epics of Flavius Josephus. So, uh, vapor canopy conditions... Or is not a good thing for, 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 for the majority of humanity. And the reason being is because when the judgments of God happen during the apocalypse, it's not easy to kill people anymore at all. 
because of the vapor canopy conditions. Phoenix appears in May 14th, May 15th, May 16th, depending upon where you are in the world, in the month of 2040. Vapor canopy may begin forming a year or two before that, or, or it's fully formed within a year after that. It doesn't take long. It could be formed because Phoenix brings an impact event, and a significant impact in, the, in any one of the world's oceans would put enough moisture in the atmosphere to begin the vapor canopy. Then events following that would, like, like, like intense volcanism all, all over the world, would, would speed up the process. So it's not like we're going to wake up one day and have blue skies and sun and the next day is going to be a vapor canopy. But then again, it might because the vapor canopy collapsed in one day, the day the sky fell. The birth, the birth of the first sun, the water sun of the ancient Americas. The collapse of the vapor canopy. We all know that event. Twenty, The month of May, 2239 B.C., the Great Flood. Now, that wasn't the Gion Flood. It wasn't the capture of Luna Flood either. The capture flood, and it sure wasn't the Ogygian Deluge, which was 1687 B.C. There are four great floods in history, but the flood of Noah was 2239 B.C., the 16th the 1656th year of the pre-flood world. Now, uh, you want to understand vapor canopy conditions? Read the books of First and Second Esdras. They were removed from the Old Testament canon for a reason. Very harrowing prophecies about what humans are going to go through in the last days. But uh, again... I'm speaking of people in the collective because I do not believe that in the particular or in the personal we have anything to worry about. We are immortals. I go through this. This is my subject matter of my last two live videos. Not going into that in this video. Those two videos covered enough, enough for a while.